One of the most frequent problems that people come to Alexander Technique teachers with is forward head posture and the associated discomfort and pain in the neck, shoulders and back. So in this video, I'll take you through an Alexander Technique approach, which will help you to break the poor habits and restore a more natural posture. I'm Pete Robinson from movementandposture.com. I teach Alexander Technique to individuals, groups and organisations, both online and in the real world. Each Sunday I upload a new YouTube video based on questions that I've been asked, so if you're interested in finding out more, subscribe and ding the notification bell. The problem with forward head posture is that people think that they can fix it by doing the opposite. They notice that their head is pushed forwards, so they do exercises to tuck the chin in or to straighten the neck. These are not only ineffective, but usually end up causing more tension and pain. In Alexander Technique, we never look at one symptom in isolation, but consider everything to be part of a bigger pattern. In the case of forward head posture, there are two aspects I want us to consider. The first is the reason that you've developed the issue. Forward head posture comes from being drawn forwards and down into whatever you are focusing on. In the case of computer work, this may be the screen, keyboard, mouse, etc. It can really help to look at the setup of your computer and desk, but I've already covered that in a separate video, which I'll link to above now. So to fix forward head posture, it's vital to break the association between the task that you're working on and the habit of pulling yourself forwards and down into it. This will take a bit of practice, so you need to be quite motivated to keep on reminding yourself not to get drawn in. You need to change the association with starting the task from the old habit to a conscious decision to stay in balance. You have to convince yourself that poking your head forwards isn't making you work any easier. There are lots of ways to work on breaking the habit, but one is just to practice the movement to the computer a few times each day before you start work. Keep it lighthearted and maybe even laugh when you catch yourself sticking your head forwards. You're trying to make your life easier, not give yourself something else to stress and struggle with. The second thing I'd like to look at is trying to understand more of the whole pattern of forward head posture. The most visible thing may be the head being forward, but if you pay attention to yourself, you can notice lots of other things going on. Head forward means that the cervical curve of the neck has been exaggerated and the head has been pulled back on top of the spine. The muscles in the neck, shoulders and upper back are working too hard. There's often tension in the throat, jaw and tongue and the muscles in the front of the body are being shortened downwards, pulling you in. Often the lower back will be stiff and the hips locked. Because the supporting structures in the back have been compromised, the arms are usually heavy and uncomfortable. So trying to fix all that by just pulling your head backwards is very unlikely to succeed. You need to work on your sitting balance and posture and the way that you use your arms. There are quite a few videos on this channel to help with improving these areas, but to get you started, let's try working through a procedure that you can use at your desk. Sit in balance on your sitting bones so that your pelvis is upright, not being rolled backwards or forwards. Bring your fingertips to the joint between your head and neck, which is just behind your earlobes. Allow that point to release up from the support from the chair. Decide to make your sitting free and balanced. Don't stiffen into a posture. We'll play with the balance by moving the body around in a small circle while you place your palms on the front of your body to increase awareness. As the body moves, keep allowing all your weight to release down into the chair and the movement happening at the sitting bones, not by the spine bending. Next, bring your palms to your upper chest and collarbones. Think of allowing your body to lengthen and widen in the front. You're choosing to stop any habits of pulling forwards and down in the body rather than pulling the shoulders back or stiffening up. 
Next, take your fingertips back up to the head neck joint and leaving your neck free and body in balance over the sitting bones, nod the head up and down by rotating at the head neck joint so that you experience looking up and down without compressing the spine or going out of balance. Finally, prioritizing being balanced and free in the body, keeping aware of your whole self, take your hands forwards towards your keyboard without activating your old habit of pulling forwards and down. The aim of that procedure is to break the association between using a computer with going into your old habitual way of using your whole self. I hope it makes sense. It's much easier to work on this kind of stuff one-on-one -on -one with an Alexander Technique teacher, but you can still make really good progress by yourself if you're motivated. Try it for a week or so and see if you notice the difference in yourself. I recommend working through some of the other videos on this channel too, as they will help to reinforce your body awareness and Alexander Technique thinking skills. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future videos, then please leave them below and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.